next video, we'll dive a little bit deeper into rotation setup. So I'm in my support at Score Chaser account. I've got my Clark County Shooting Complex Test Gun Club set up. And I'm in the tournament overview for my Western Regional Championship test. I've already established that the main event is going to shoot on Saturday and Sunday, and that each day there will be a rotation that starts at 9 and a rotation that starts at noon. So now I'd like to go in and define a rotation for the prelim. So I'm going to go into either my events navigation here on the left under Manage Tournament, or I'll scroll down and look at my events list in the overview, and we will edit the prelim. So if I go into Rotation and Times, you're going to see in the top of this slip a few different options. You can decide whether this is going to be a squatted event or an unsquatted event. Um, if it's going to be unsquatted, like all of my sub gauges would be, you have an option to define the max number of entrants you want on that course throughout all days that it's offered. Um, we'll pretend this one is an unsquatted just to give you an example. You don't have to define this if you don't want to shut off registration at any point in time. But let's say this unsquatted event, I want to open the course at 9 o'clock a.m. on Thursday, and I don't want to close it until 5 o'clock p.m. on Thursday. And then on Friday, the course is going to be open from 9 o'clock a.m. Friday, but I want to cut it off early Friday so I can start getting results in and figure shoot offs. So Score Chaser allows you to um, define open course times for even un an unsquatted event, which is a new concept here and, and a great tool to have. It makes it easier for shooters to understand and for clubs to communicate. Let's go back to squatted because my prelim is actually going to be a squatted. It's only one course, so I'm going to start my shooters on one course. Whereas in the main event example that you saw in an earlier video, I had two courses that were running simultaneously, so I wanted to be able to squad shooters on either course. For this prelim, we're going to start on one. My typical squad size, I'm going to allow five shooters per squad. And for a prelim, I do want to allow B squads. So I'm going to just check the box there. The number of rotations, I'm going to run two rotations each day of Thursday and Friday. So that's a total of four rotations. So I'll hit update here. Say I only want, and then let's say I only want 90 shooters on a course at a time. So I'm going to uh, define the number of slots per time as 90. And then I'll just set up my times here, 9 o'clock a.m. on Thursday. My next rotation is 12 o'clock p.m. on Thursday. And then I don't offer another rotation again until Friday. So we'll do 9 o'clock Friday and 12 o'clock Friday. Simple as that. And we'll just save it here. And set up a five stand rotation. Um, I've added a five stand event to my test tournament here. We're going to go into the events list. I'm going to click on five stand, and then I'm going to edit this event. So this is a 50 target five stand shot on two fields of 25 targets each. I've already set up my uh, two fields, field one and field two. Again, we'll come back to that menu in a different video. For rotations and times on this, I definitely want it to be a squatted event. Um, I'm going to start everybody on the first field and then want them to move to the next field. So that'll be fine just as it is five shooters per squad, and I don't want to allow B squads on this one. Let's say I am only going to have five rotations for the whole day, and I can only shoot five people at a time on five stands, so there's going to be five slots available for registration. We'll do the first one at 9 o'clock a.m. on, say, Friday, and the next one will start at 10 o'clock on Friday. 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and one o'clock. So these are the starting times for field one. Um, all five rotations defined there. And then say I only want a 20 minute five stand. So they're going to move to field two and they're going to shoot field two at 9.20 a.m. on Friday. The next one would be at 10.20, 11.20, 12.20, 1.30, And then I just save. If we go back here to the overview for the tournament, you'll see that I've defined um, on the 5 stand event, I have squads that start from 9 a.m. to 1.20 p.m. on Friday.